Now, it's just a year ago that we formed the ITV Business Club, a collection of some of the region's most successful entrepreneurs. Tonight and tomorrow, we talk to them about how the last year has gone and their predictions for the economy this year. Over the last year, despite a recession, they've increased profits and taken more people on. Tonight, they tell us how. Here's our business correspondent, Mark Goff. It's been a big year in the motor industry, not least for Grant Adams, managing director of Surtec in Coles Hill, which makes parts for Jaguar Land Rover. Turnover broke through the 100 million pound mark. He got a 10 million pound a year contract to make parts for Jaguar Land Rover's new plant in China, and he's taken on more people. It's our 50th year, which is uh, a success in its own right for a family business. Um, 100 million pound turnover that we've broken uh, this year, and we've increased the labour from 650 to 770, so an extra 120 people. You've got to say a lot of it's come from JLR. Um, we're hanging on to their shirt tiles, um, and it's a good shirt to be hanging on to, to be honest. When we first met Claire Major, she just started her cookery school, running it from the kitchen table. She'd rent rooms, bring in a chef, and some camping stoves. She's moved on a bit in a year. Since January, we've moved to a purpose-built venue, um, invested in a purpose-built kitchen, doubled our turnover, and gone from running four courses a month to four courses a week. Yeah, we're working with new chefs, so we're now working with five um, MasterChef finalists and Brendan, this year's Great British Bake Off finalist. It's, it's a slow cook, otherwise you'll end up with scrambled egg. Adrian Maxwell's coffee machine business in Birmingham is growing too, in some unusual markets. Rwanda, Tanzania, Kenya, um, South America, Peru, Chile have come on strong. Poland's been doing quite well. Um, Australia's still bowling along, Middle East, um, Finland, which we hadn't sold to before, uh, France doing reasonably well, which I'm quite surprised at. So yeah, a lot of new markets. This year's been a good, another good year for us basically. Had uh, growth again, uh, month on month since the start of the tax year. So from April on, grew two or three percent each month. A uh, little bit slower in August, but I think that was due to the holiday period. Um, September, October and November have been fantastic months again. Good export market, good UK market. Taking more people on, another two in the offices and just taking another two on on the build lines. Um, and uh, we're looking for a uh, uh, workshop junior as well to help in the service department. Tim Watts from Pertemps is by far the biggest employer in our business club, payrolling about 30,000 people a week. He's in recruitment, finding jobs for anyone from a lorry driver to a dentist. Well, we've had a good year, um, both in growth, um, standard, uh, maintained our profitability, put on about 100 million, and we've bought about four more companies. Uh, the group is now turning over about 600 million, and we're payrolling about 30,000 flexible workers each week. The business has always been in two parts per temps, temporary and permanent. Uh, the permanent side is steady, uh, nothing expansive about it, quite difficult. Uh, the flexible market, the contract market, well that's just outperformed fantastically and we're actually short of workers. Coming up to Christmas we were several thousand qualified workers short. Tomorrow night more good news from our businesses Profits have doubled and we've taken it on about another 37 people, so I am over the moon. Their predictions for this year? Manufacturing in the, in the West Midlands is fantastic. Everybody I talk to that's subcontracting or making parts for me or other people are all busy. Uh, full order books, which is absolutely excellent. And praise for the ITV Business Club. It's something that all of us in the Business Club um, were waiting for. Let's, let's give some good news. Let's give some positive news. That's tomorrow. Mark Goff, ITV News. Oh, it's good to get the good news, isn't it? And That's great encouragement want. for businesses that are obviously trying to do their best this year. Yeah.